It does make me a little concerned when I do see from our brothers and sisters in faith when they say uh, we're not going to practice physical or social distancing. This isn't God's control. I would say, well, you're right, but God did give you scientists and doctors and nurses and healthcare workers to help you through us. So please use us uh, and let us help you. My team of infectious disease physicians is embedded inside the ICUs, and really our role here is to help the teams make the best possible treatment decisions for patients who are critically ill with COVID-19 disease. Today is Thursday, April 8th. I got a text from a friend this morning that said, happy Thursday, and I had two problems with that text. Number one, I didn't know it was Thursday, and number two, uh, I doesn't feel very happy. One of the things that my team helps out with um, is trying to decide uh, really how best to take care of these patients. Normally we would follow the standard of care and the standard of care is the steps that doctors will take based on years and decades of experience in dealing with the disease. But for COVID, there really is no standard of care and so we have to design one from the ground up. Clinical trials are really absolutely critical for us to make the best uh, treatment decisions now, um, but also in the future. It's clinical trials that will tell us um, these are the medications that may save lives, or alternatively, these are the medications that may hurt people. Some of the medicines we consider you've probably heard about, um, hydroxychloroquine, azithromycin, remdesivir, other investigational agents. And I am hopeful that all of these will work, but the truth is we don't know that. I still don't know if this COVID pandemic is a war. It can be pretty dehumanizing after a while, being in the hospital with um, patients hooked up to the ventilators and all the IVs and you can't speak with them. I think we're still just as scared as the rest of you um, about getting COVID, but it's something about, this is what we, this is what we do. This is what we were trained for. And so if we can help out, why, why wouldn't we help out? I would have hoped that I would have never had the opportunity uh, to have this much exposure to COVID, but now slowly I've been going back to my day job, which is um, trying to help cure HIV. Because of the fact that the patient numbers in the hospitals have been going down, um, those units um, for infectious disease doctors have been disbanded. So we're still around to help, but we're not as much involved in the day-to-day -day, uh, operations. And I think that is truly, um, really a wonderful thing.